Good evening. On behalf of the Beatrice Area Chamber of Commerce, I'd like to welcome everybody that's here tonight, as well as everybody that's watching on television. My name's Bob Tiemann, and I'm going to be the moderator tonight. We'd like to remind everyone that we are being broadcast live on Channel 9, and it's also being videotaped and will be replayed several times between now and election time. So if you did miss it or you want to watch another part or all of it again, you're going to have an opportunity to do that several times. Tonight we're going to be listing from candidates for the position of Lower Blue NRD, NL, N, UNL Regents, the NPPD Board, and the Gage County Supervisors. Each candidate tonight is going to be allowed two minutes for their introduction and then two minutes for each question that is asked. I ask each candidate to watch the timer uh, for your times. Questions being asked tonight were submitted from the Chamber Office from the community. If the audience would like to submit a question, please write it down on a piece of paper and give it to one of the assistants, and they will bring it up here to the front. All questions asked must pertain to business-related items. At the end of each question and answer period, each candidate will be allowed two minutes for their summation. Prior to the start of the forum, the forum tonight, we drew names, and Mr. Ronald Weens was the lucky guy that gets to start off. Mr. Weens, could you give us your two-minute summation? My name is Ron Weens. I was born in Beatrice and have spent my entire life in this area. I grew up on my parents' farm, one mile south of the Homestead National Monument. I'm sure you're all familiar where that is. Graduated from Beatrice High School in 1956, then worked for one year to save some money and with the help of a scholarship, was able to attend the University of Nebraska College of Agriculture for two years. In 1959, I married my wife Kay. We have three grown children and their families that include nine grandchildren and four great-grandchildren. In 1960, we rented a farm one mile east of Ellis, borrowed $5,000, and started farming. In the mid-90s, my two sons took over our farming operation, and we moved into Beatrice, where we now live. However, I still go to the farm and work out there on a regular basis with the boys. I serve as a secretary in the Homestead Village Parkview Center. Uh, I also am a lifelong member of the Beatrice Mennonite Church, and I serve on the board of directors of Lower Big Blue Natural Resource District, and I'm also serving this year as an alternate to the Nebraska Association of Resource Districts. Being involved in farming is extremely helpful in making the right decisions on the Lower Big Blue and RD. Thank you, Mr. Weems. Next, we have Walter Velosic. Uh, Mr. Velosic, would you give us your two-minute intro? First of all, I'd like to thank the Chamber and all those who are here to watch and also listen on TV for their interest. Uh, I am Wally Velasic, a candidate for director of the Lower Big Blue NRD. I grew up on a farm in Spal near Spalding, Nebraska, and graduated with a Bachelor of Science degree from the University of Nebraska in 1971. I began my career with the Soil Conservation Service as a soil conservationist in Ord, Nebraska in May of 1971. Uh, my wife and I have moved to Beatrice in May of 1977 and have lived here ever since. We have three children who graduated from the Beatrice High School, and we also have six grandchildren. My wife is a paraeducator at Cedar Elementary. I retired from the Natural Resource Conservation Service in January of 2010 after 39 years. During the 39 years, I spent the last 34 years as district conservationist in Beatrice and Wilbur Field Offices. I also served as the NRD liaison for the Lower Big Blue over that period of time. One of my responsibilities was to attend the NRD board meetings and committee meetings. I was very familiar with the NRD concept and their goals of conserving our natural resources. I worked very closely with the NRD in various programs, uh, such programs as the watershed program, which involves the construction of flood control and erosion control dams, which are very prevalent throughout the county and the NRD, 
installation of conservation practices utilizing state and NRD cost share funds, establishment of the groundwater management area, and several information and education programs, as well as the NRD cross share NRD tree planting program and various other programs to name a few. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Velosic, you get to start with the first question. Should the NRD consider ownership of the old railroad right of way from Beatrice to the Kansas border for trails? Well, the, the NRD is one of their, uh, um, one of the NRD's uh, main functions as far as that goes is education, information in that part. And the, the trail throughout the county has been a controversial issue as far as uh, a lot of the rural residents. I'm sure that the, uh, a lot of the uh, local people in Beatrice and maybe Wymore or Loose Springs would probably be interested in it. But I think the NRD as a board needs to evaluate the situation as far as the cost, how much it would cost to do, what the maintenance factors might be over a period of time. And I'm sure there's a few bridges along there and whether they would be uh, safe for pedestrian traffic. And if they aren't, then that would increase the cost tremendously as far as that goes. Okay. Uh, Mr. Weens, I'm going to give you the same question. Should the NRD consider ownership of the old railroad right of way from Beatrice to the Kansas border for trails? The subject of trails has been on the board docket for many, many times. It was on there before I became a member of the board, was elected to the board, and it's still there. Unfortunately, there isn't any funding for the maintenance of that trail. There is some money to build it, but that's the easy part. The, the complicated part comes in when you deal with the future maintenance of the trail, and that's forever. You know, there is no time frame. It's pretty hard to budget something like that. But today, uh, the only option for budgeting it would be tax dollars. And our board, at this point, is not interested in putting this cost of maintenance of the Homestead Trail on tax dollars. We feel uh, that, they, that dollars need to come from another source. And I think their source is out there, but uh, Perhaps uh, no, one, no one has stepped forward and said, you take care of the trail and we'll help you reimburse the costs. And today that's what's necessary. We need to get some cost reimbursement from usage cost of some kind to help us reinforce for the maintenance of the trail. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Weens. You're gonna get the next question. The NRDs are 40 years in existence, and this NRD has focused on flood control over these years. As the drainage areas are nearly complete, what should the NRD's focus be? Would you repeat that, please? Sure. The NRDs are 40 years in existence, and this NRD has focused on flood control over the years. As the drainage area is nearly complete, what should the focus be? I think we're focused right now on uh, the Turkey Creek project. Uh, seven flood control, controlled structures up northwest of Beatrice on Turkey Creek. We have completed, nearly completed five of them. And those structures, when completed, will have a tremendous effect on reduced flooding in Beatrice. Uh, I would say that you will never see again the floods that we've seen in the past because of the flood control structures that we've installed and these uh, seven are going to be huge in preventing that along the Turkey Creek River as well as the Big Blue River and so uh, I look forward to seeing those completed. I think that's going to be an enormous benefit for Beatrice. Okay, thank you Mr. Wins. Mr. Velosic, I'm going to give you the same question. The NRDs are 40 years in existence, and this NRD has focused on flood control over the years. As the drainage area is nearly complete, what should our focus be? I think the NRD, like Ron indicated, has been very focused as far as the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, as far as the flood control projects. 
one of the things that they're also been getting involved in is one of their main goals is uh, quantity and quality of our water supply. I think that's one of the things that the NRD will probably or should get into more so in the future down the road. Uh, our quality of water is pretty good in most areas. There's some areas where it's not very good, although the, and the quantity of water throughout the NRD is not the best in some areas, as indicated by the NRD's recent establishment of a rural water district in the southern part of the county, southern part of Gage County and Weimar area. But to focus on quality, I guess the main area would be the groundwater, groundwater management area, which is west of town here, which encompasses the wells. And I think those are things that we need to put more emphasis on in the future. Thank you. Mr. Velasic, you start the next question. You've touched on it a little bit already. Should the NRD help to assure that there is adequate groundwater for the communities and domestic well users? If yes, please explain how you would work to accomplish this. Well, I think it's very important, and that's one of the goals or focuses of the NRD, is to provide adequate water quality throughout the NRD. And they have, then, like I said earlier, the NRD has already established a groundwater management area uh, west of town around the wells for Beatrice, and they've also worked with some of the other smaller towns in the area, and I think they need to probably work with them some more as time goes on. Uh, one other thing would be to focus on uh, information and education, and that's something that needs to maybe be addressed a little more uh, with information to producers is try to come up with some ways to reduce the use of nitrogen because in most cases we're talking about, uh, as far as water quality, we're talking about nitrates. And we need to try to reduce the number of, the amount of nitrogen that we may need to grow a crop. If we don't need as much, then we shouldn't be putting that much on. And we can do that through soil testing and other means as far as that goes. Okay, thank you, Mr. Velocic. Uh, Mr. Weins, I'm going to give you the same question. Should the NRD help to assure that there is adequate groundwater for the communities and domestic well users? If yes, please explain how you would work to accomplish this. Well, first of all, we have a water specialist <clears throat> on our NRD staff who continually monitors our wells, our irrigation wells. And he reports, us, reports that findings to us, and we watch that very closely. We're very concerned about uh, water levels as well as the nitrate level. And of course, that's uh, in Beatrice, the wells where they, the water, where they get their wells from over here by Hoig, they have the same issue as, as watching this nitrate. As far as uh, water for the, the area, uh, we now have in progress the Weimar Whirl Water Project that consists of uh, 125 miles of pipe that will run from Wymour to the area east of Wymour, where there will be, I believe Dave Claybell told me yesterday, 206 users have now signed up for this very important project. Uh, some of these users have no water, some have very little water, but uh, I just, uh, this, is, this is very exciting I've been uh, farming and I remember times when we didn't have water and that's a frustration. And so I'm just excited to see these people, uh, homes, homeowners, housewives, have enough water to wash more, more than one load of clothes. And so this is an exciting project for me and the board. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Weens. At this time, we're going to move to the summation part of this session. Each of our candidates will be allowed two minutes for their closing remarks. Mr. Weens, you get to go first in your closing remarks. Thank you, Bob. If I can find my notes. First of all, I'd like to thank the Beatrice Area Chamber of Commerce for inviting me to this forum. Um, not the, this isn't my favorite thing to do, to speak in public, but I've, I'm hoping that I inform some of you just a little bit about what's going on on the NRD board and uh, my life also. If you have any questions or comments that uh, went unanswered here today uh, about the NRD or anything, 
that you didn't feel you got answered, feel free to call me. My number is 402-228-0654. Leave me a, a message and I, I promise you I'll get back to you. Uh, I've given you a glimpse of what I am, what I stand for, what I've done for a living. However, of greater importance is for you to feel that same passion I have for being a good steward of our soil and water and our tax dollars. That's why I seek re-election for the Lower Big Blue Natural Resource District Board of Directors. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Weens. Mr. Velosic, would you like to give your summation for us? I'd like to thank Bob and the, the Chamber for hosting this event. I think it's a very worthwhile project and very informative to the public as to the uh, opinions and uh, of all the candidates and different, different organizations and that part of it. In closing, I guess I'd like to just say that uh, I've worked for the Natural Resource Conservation Service for several years, 34 of those years being here in Beatrice. Uh, I participated in NRD board meetings and committee meetings over those years, uh, almost totally as far as that goes. And during that time, I have provided a great deal of information and assistance to them on several of their projects, such as watersheds, uh, water quality, water quantity, uh, tree planting, information education, and several others. And I feel that uh, as far as a board member, I would be able to continue to provide that information to them and to help the NRD meet their goal as far as conserving soil soil and also providing excellent water quantity and quality and i guess i would also like to urge everyone to be sure and vote on november 6. thank you thank you on behalf of the beatrice area chamber of commerce i'd like to thank mr weens and mr velocic for coming down here i'd also like to re remind everybody to get out and vote on november 6. it's very important we're going to take a break here for a few minutes when we come back we're going to listen to the candidates that are running for the UNL region 